Join us as we delve deeper into this landmark event, exploring the implications for Burkina Faso's military strength and the broader vision of Captain Ibrahim Traoré's leadership. Don't forget to subscribe and stay updated with our latest insights. This lot here represents only the first delivery out of four lots. In essence, we have approximately 18% to 20% of the equipment. We officially hand over the keys for these tactical and engineering vehicles. take the necessary time to train the crew so that they can effectively operate these resources. Remember that we live in a world of predation and to achieve peace, we must wage war. Therefore, go to war with the authorization of the Supreme Chief of the Armed Forces. Let us acknowledge all the knowledge that has been acquired for the procurement of equipment. This lot is just the beginning. There are three contracts with two companies. The remaining material will be delivered later. The Burkina Bay population has made significant financial efforts to support the reconquest and the acquisition of accompanying equipment. We hope this effort continues. And on behalf of the Supreme Chief of the Armed Forces, we thank all the Burkina Bay people, including those who contribute anonymously through existing channels to support the armed forces and other anonymous fighters. On Thursday, June 6th, 2024, Captain Ibrahim Traoré made a significant move to bolster Burkina Faso's national defense. In a proud and momentous ceremony, Captain Ibrahim handed over a substantial batch of military and engineering equipment to his brave soldiers. This strategic initiative aims to equip them with the necessary tools to effectively defend the nation against various threats. The event, held at the military headquarters, was a testament to Captain Ibrahim's commitment to strengthening the country's defense capabilities. The equipment included advanced weaponry, protective gear, vehicles, and state-of-the-art engineering tools. This upgrade not only enhances the operational efficiency of the soldiers, but also boosts their morale, knowing they are well supported by their leadership. Captain Ibrahim's dedication to his troops and the nation is evident in this decisive action. By ensuring that his soldiers have the best possible resources, he is fostering a sense of security and readiness within the military ranks. This move is expected to significantly impact Burkina Faso's defense strategy, enabling the country to better protect its sovereignty and citizens.